Hello and welcome to What's Next. So previously I did a review on the ARC-24 and they don't make that one anymore which is sad. Like I said in the other view, based on pricing, ARC-24 uh, to me was a far better uh, value for what you got. Because I use all three top gears riding it. That would be sad if I only had uh, eight gears. Also, I forgot to mention, if there's not a sale, call Elliptigo and ask if they've had a customer return. This one was a customer return. You get a decent discount. And they're brand new, just so I guess somebody didn't like it. <clears throat> but this is the one I had. And there's no dirt in the paddles. It looked like it had never been ridden. Not once. Still had the little, uh, as you can see, they're still on there, the little rubber pieces from the mold. So they had a sale on the M sub, and when they first introduced it, I thought I'd never buy it because we would just get the con out of the way. I felt like for what you're getting, it was way overpriced. But I really miss mountain biking, so they had them on sale, and I was able to get 0% uh, financing, so. <coughs> and I was a little nervous, wouldn't be able to ride it. But I'm actually able to. I'm a little nervous right now. It's uh, two miles on this. All I got is deep field grass and sand. So two miles on this feels like eight on the uh, the uh, arc. It is uh, uh, slightly different. Legs are very sore from it. So I'm definitely working the muscles differently. Uh, very stable. I've not felt uncomfortable on it's just all it is wet grass thick grass and it, I'm able to go up some pretty little decently steep inclines and which is just all grass it is a little looser than a normal mountain bike when you get in gravels it'll spin pretty easily on a hill when you're pedaling compared to if you were on a traditional mountain bike so at the end of the video I'm gonna go online and we'll see how much mountain bike we can buy for less I'll try to compare components and everything. The ARC pricing, it is expensive, but there's nothing else like it, so I'm not going to give a lip go a hard time on that. No. I do feel like the long stride's a little expensive. I, I was interested in those, but I chose the ARC just on the pricing. So I'll go online and we'll see what we can do. Because technically, you've got a traditional mountain bike with the seat missing. I mean, you do have an adjustable post, and I wish I could get my hands on a... Uh, longer post. I wish this had about maybe two more clicks up and I'd feel a little safer. But we'll get into the bike. It's a uh, the core uh, components. Uh, it's like a Mate finish. You can hear it on my finger. Got disc brakes. I've never had that on any bike before. They're very quiet and plenty of power. Uh, I did get the uh, toe clips because I can't have my feet slip off. I, if my foot should slip that could easily throw my back out. So in the previous video I gave uh, Elliptigo a 10 out of 10 on support. So their support's awesome. Um, I'll find a little piece here in a second and I'll show you why their support's so good. Got little weights here that you add. You know, I wish they were close to the pedal. I'll never be going crazy like before off-road, but other people, I don't know if you ever could catch that. You might. I seriously doubt it. I don't, since it's near the center, even if you were in a really tight-leaning trail, I don't know if you could ever, I seriously doubt you'd ever catch it. But who knows? If you're in some really rocky stuff, just maybe. I mean, it's well-built. Um, it's interesting, you got another outlet here. I was wondering if maybe at one time they were thinking about doing a gear hub. I wish at this price point you had a fender and you had additional three speeds to work with. Uh, Air shock is an improvement. My climb Mantra, I don't know, was that 20 years ago when I bought the Climb Mantra Pro? It had a front air and a rear air. This is really good. You got lockout. Let's see, you got rebound. Uh, it's real good and stable. It tracks real well. Uh, things I really like 
they brought the real nice big hand. You definitely got to have something like this with a stand-up bike, and these are really nice. For me, with my hand, I think it'd be nice if they were a little bigger, but it does a good job. I do have it as high as I can get it, and I would like it to be a little higher just for me. There's your shifters. So, I'm just going to check online to see if they might have a fender or try to adapt one from another bike. Shouldn't be too hard. It's um, The tires are pretty good. They're not super aggressive, but I'm not spinning out or sliding, which is my big fear. It's the Hunter Badger Sport. It's also Kenda, which is on the Arc. I've got 38 pounds in them. I think the manual said 40. Um, but overall, I'm super happy with it. And it's nice to be able to mountain bike again. And it does have a lockout function for the shock. I can't really think of nothing else. I mean, I mean the only con is price. That's it for me. And uh, then the video, I'll go online and we'll see what we can get for. Maybe we'll look at a $600 mountain bike and its components, then we'll slowly go up to this, which is, I think, $14.99 plus $100 and something shipping, depending on where you're at, and see what you can get. But overall, I'm super happy. Uh, quality looks good. Uh, that tape finish is interesting. We'll see how it holds up. <clears throat> Overall, I don't foresee any problems. If you look at the welds, they're actually really nice. There's no, you don't see any real pits or anything like that on any of the welding. So that was real nice to see. Got just a real nice bead across there. On my tractors, before I got injured, you could find some pretty horrific stuff. I love uh, Coyote tractors and John Deere, but some of the welds on the Coyote were bad, but the tractor overall was great. I guess I could talk about those one day. I missed having my farm and, and racing. But quick release fronts. Oh, okay. I do have it, Max. There's a line there saying Max Extension. I kept playing around until I got it in the highest one I could. So if you have any questions about it, uh, also if they're not on sale you could call and see if they got a customer return and do like I did on the ARC. So save some money. I'll take care.